use what are you saying? Uh, anyways, um that I use all the time. It's called MySQL Administrator or MySQL Administrator. So you just click open. And you wait for it. While you're waiting for it, you can look at your messages. Okay, so it opened. This is what it looks like. You just select your website here. So as you can see, I have a few. So you put your password in. Server host. Username, password, port. Okay. Connects right up to your SQL database. And right away, you can go to backup. And you can say new project. Just say two days backup. Date goes here too. And this is just a schema information. You don't really need that. No, you don't. You don't need that. Or it actually won't even let you get that if you try. So just grab the database that you want to back up. This would be like the whole database behind your WordPress platform, by the way. Like in this case, it's a Drupal. It's the Drupal um, platform, but it would be this pretty much the same thing, same type of thing for WordPress. So you just put this little button, click it over. And so what it's going to do is it's taking, it's it's going into that database and it's looking at all the tables and and it's putting them over here. See, so yeah, this is useful. Like if you wanted to only have one table backed up, you could definitely just check the one you wanted, or you should say uncheck all of them and check the one you wanted. But in this case, of course, we're going to do all of them because it's a full database backup, full website backup. See all of them. See this is pretty much identical to what it would be like in WordPress. The only difference is these would be different names here. They would be WordPress tables instead of Drupal tables. And then you go down here to execute backup. See it's working. You just say where you what you want to save it. See it says today's backup date whatever and some weird number. I think that's like a date and some weird system of formatting numbers or whatever I don't know. And then you hit save right to your desktop. Okay, it's now it's doing the backups. It's going through all the tables and it is backing up each table so that you can restore your website to exactly the way it was. Um, say I went and I changed everything. I deleted all my pages, um, but I had done a backup the night before and I wanted to. I decided I wanted my pages back. I could go just restore the whole database and everything would come back instantly. The backup was finished successfully and it says the file is created. And it shows you where, of course, desktop. Okay. Of course, if you go to the desktop, there it is. It's a very large file. It's 1.92 megabyte. 1.92 megabytes of text. So it's a very large text file. It would it would take an open. Actually, I'll show you. Watch. You can open it. Open with. Doesn't even give me open or edit. See, it says very large. It's actually not that big. And you can see it's just a huge text file that has all your database information in it. So actually go in here and edit stuff and then in, import it. Like if I want to change this URL path right here, I, I could. Anyways, that's not not you know, anyways, that's unneeded, but you can edit the website in here too if you really wanted to, but you don't have to. Um it's actually a hard way to do it, so I'm not gonna save any changes, but there's my backup. That's pretty much it for as far as the as far as that goes. But there's also some cool things you can do. I just want to show you real quick. Like um, you can go to catalogs, go here. So remember, you select that because it's not the schema, but the actual virus. And these are all your individual tables. Let's say you wanted to go into, um, but for me. For Drupal, I would want to go into the node, node revisions table. 
because that's where all my data is stored. So you just right click, edit table. I already did that. See, and it just basically writes a SQL query right there and it automatically runs it. This is awesome tool because what now I can do now is I can go in here and I can just hit edit and I can edit the individual columns. This is node ID, so that means basically that's the seventh page I created when I was doing the website. I could make, change the title of the page right there if I wanted to just by tipping S and then hitting by apply changes. See? I could go apply changes and it would it's purple until I apply them, but I don't want I don't really want to do that. So I'm gonna discard changes. But anyways, so you can go into the individual tables and make small changes if you need to that way. Or you can also do things like maintenance. See, you can optimize tables. You can optimize tables and there it goes. Actually I just did one table C, but I want to do all of them. So I would select all instead and then maintenance optimize tables optimize tables and there that goes <laughs> it's funny you're sending me all your domains right now free seo toolbox.com mctooly.com toolmac.com itoolseo.com iheart art seotools.com, toolahop.com, simplyseo.com, that's all of the finalists.com. Okay, and see, now I'm back to this, this is all done now, we can see it's all of them are okay, they've all been optimized. This will make your website go a little faster too, by the way, so it will load a little faster. And then you just say, okay, done, bam, I'm done. Anyways, the first thing we did was a backup. That was before we optimized and before we uh, did anything else. So this is like if I had gone in there and made changes um, and I fucked something up, I could always just go in there and restore this file. Just opposite of backup. I don't know if you saw right next to where it said backup, it said actually restore. So there you go, man. It's a useful tool if you ever want to use it.